Welcome guys. Today I'll show you how to use an auto clicker in Pokemon Masters. First of all, if you haven't seen the first part, I would recommend to watch it. As you have seen in the first part after you enable multi targets mode in the auto clicker app, one tool will appear like this. After that tool appears, open the Pokemon Masters game. Now we're going to use this tool to collect those 800 custom voucher 1 to unlock the final chapter of Questionable Alliance. To collect the most number of custom voucher 1, we'll play Mewtwo Strikes. Because it has guaranteed reward of 2 custom voucher 1 per match which is the highest out of any battle. Not only that, but it also gives one custom super voucher one and one custom training machine as a guaranteed reward which I'll show you after some time why they're also necessary. But first, let's learn how to use the auto clicker. If you want to add buttons click on this plus sign and if you want to remove the last button click on the minus sign. We're going to use four buttons to collect those vouchers. First, Come to this screen and add your first button here and drag it to the Mewtwo Strikes. Then click on the button and set the time to 4 seconds. Now your first button is set. Then come to this screen and add your second button and then drag it to the Go button. I have said it's time to 40 seconds because my this team can win this level in the auto mode under 40 seconds. You can set your time accordingly. Now add the third button, drag it to the side of the first button and set the time to 5 seconds. Then add the 4th button, drag it to the go button and set the time to 10 seconds. You'll see why. Now come back to the last screen and click on this play button to start the operation. Now as you'll click on the play button the first button will be clicked automatically. As we have set the first button's time on 4 seconds, the second button will be clicked after 4 seconds automatically. Now the second button's time is set to 40 seconds, therefore, the third button will be clicked automatically after 40 seconds. I'm not touching anything, everything is done by auto clicker. As the third button is pushed after 40 seconds at the end of the battle then the fourth button will be clicked after 5 seconds because the third button's time is set to 5 seconds. Now the fourth button is the last button and its time is set to the 10 seconds so the first button will be clicked again after 10 seconds and the loop will carry on. Let's see it two more times to assure that auto clicker will continue without any stop. world 
Then we know where I went wrong. As a gym leader, I have to be a wall for you to overcome. Now if you want to stop the auto clicker, click on this pause button. If you want to start again then come to the required screen from wherever you're and hit that play button. The operation will start again from the first button. If you want to minimize these buttons for some time so that you don't drag them accidentally, then click on these arrows. Now let me show you how many things I collected by using this trick overnight while I was asleep. I have also unlocked level cap of Mewtwo to level 85. As you can see, custom training machine and custom super training machine are required to unlock the level cap of Mewtwo. Also, they're required to unlock moves and skills of Mewtwo. They are only event limited items so if you want to collect them as fast as possible, the Mewtwo Strikes battle is best. Because it has the highest reward out of all the battles. Also, this is the highest reward you can get from this battle. Let me upgrade Mewtwo to the level 85. You can drag this tool by dragging from these arrows button. You also need these vouchers to level up the sync move of Giovanni and Mewtwo. You can maximize this tool again by clicking on arrows. If you want to save the sequence click on the settings and give a name to this sequence. You can also set how many times you want to play it. I have set to the run indefinitely so it won't stop until I click on the pause button.
If you want to remove the tool from your screen, first minimize the tool then click on the cross button. If you want to get it back, as seen in the first part, click on the enable in multi-targets mode in the auto clicker app. At last some tips for using this tool. First, always see the sequence three times running perfectly before leaving the mobile unattended and don't forget to turn on the auto mode in battle. Second, go to your mobile setting, then, about phone, then, software information, then, click on your build number multiple times until your developer mode is turned on. Now go to the developer mode and enable the stay awake feature. By enabling this feature, after you put your mobile in charging, your screen will not turn off automatically until you manually turn it off by power button. So that your game will run without your screen being turned off. Third, keep your mobile where you have no internet connection issues otherwise connection error will occur and the auto clicker will not be able to do anything about it. And you'll wake up next morning to a connection error and nothing in your bag. Also always keep your timers 3 to 4 seconds longer so that if sometimes network is slow or the auto battle is not finished in the time it will be able to handle that problem. Keep in mind that the game refreshes around 1 am on New York's time, search the timings for your time zone accordingly, so start your auto clicker after that time otherwise game automatically opens the home page and your auto clicker will not be able to do anything about it. One more problem is the update message in-game in which a pop-up will appear and ask to click on the OK button to update the game, which also makes your auto-clicker meaningless. So take care of those things before going to sleep and just hope that they'll not give an in-game update while you're asleep. The best way to use auto-clicker would be while working so you can look up to your phone if there are any problems, you'll be able to fix it. It's also a great way to make yourself free from mobile for some time so you can focus on the necessary stuff you want to get done. I know that this app is for Android but you can always find similar principle working apps in the Apple Store, just with some minor differences in operation. And advice for using vouchers, only use them to collect custom event only items, not anything else. I posted this video late because I wanted to show you guys that I have collected all the first 4 rewards and leveled up the sync move of Mewtwo to 5 out of 5. About the custom power up, you can see that only 2 custom power up are there in the shop but as you'll collect the custom power up, a new custom power up will appear at a higher number of custom vouchers required, 100 more for custom voucher 1 and 50 more for custom super voucher 1. I have already collected 7. I have also unlocked the level cap of Mewtwo to the max and all the moves and skills of Mewtwo. I just don't have enough level up manuals to upgrade Mewtwo to the max level which I'll collect after the event is over. But now my only focus is collecting those vouchers to upgrade Mewtwo to the max potential. I hope this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.